welcome families, friends, and loved ones. Please be seated. This is a special moment, and so everyone can be present. I'm requesting that everyone turn off your phones. Please take pictures, but no phone calls. Put them in airplane mode. <laughs> We are gathered together here to join Robert Scott and Miranda Nelson in the spiritual union of marriage. The union of marriage must be acknowledged as a serious commitment because you are the ones who have supported them and know them so well. It is only fitting that you are the ones to share this once in a lifetime moment with them. As their community of support, there may be times that Robert and Miranda will need your wisdom, guidance, and encouragement to work through the inevitable difficulties that lie ahead. I ask that all of you choose love in your thoughts, words, and actions towards them and their marriage, and do all you can to help nurture and deepen their bond. I saw this quote by Angelita Lim, and it made me think of the two of them. I saw you and you were perfect, and so I loved you. Then I saw that you were not perfect and I loved you even more. One of the things that I really like about this couple is they have each other's backs. And I don't see that as often as I would like, so it's really special. Empathy, understanding, and patience are foundations of happy and enduring relationships. Robert and Miranda have written their own vows and their own promises to each other. Who would like to go first? Yes. <laughs> My love. Before we were even dating, I said to the group of rifle girls, if I got an opportunity to marry this man, I am taking it. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am. So my love, I promise to love you through the long nights and the painful days. To be your steady hand, to hold for all other things. Your range buddy and your passenger princess <laughs> I'll always help you find your shot and encourage you through every change. Every project, every rifle, every pet, I'll be with you for every part of it. <laughs> Standing here, I officially get to say I found the one. My best friend, my present, and my future. I love you, Robert. And I'm totally ready to marry you. <laughs> I, Robert Scott, promise to love you and be your rock through the good and the bad. I guess now that the day has come, I know for sure that I'm no longer in the brother zone. <laughs> <laughs> I will forever enjoy our late night drives being your hiking buddy and watching Disney movies endlessly and endlessly. <laughs> and then, as it happened this morning, taking care of taking the towels off of the bed when they're wet. <laughs> I can't wait to know you too. Miranda, do you take Robert to be your lawfully wedded husband? To love and understand, to solve problems amicably, and to work together through hard times and good times to commit to make this the most important relationship for both of you. Robert, do you take Miranda to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and understand, to solve problems and amicably, and to work through hard times and good times to commit to make this the most important relationship to both of you? I do. They will now exchange rings. Miranda, place this ring on Robert's finger and then repeat after me. I give this ring. I give this ring. With the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. Today, tomorrow. Always and forever. Always and forever. <laughs> Robert, place the ring on Miranda's finger. I give this ring with the pledge. I give this ring with the pledge. To love you today, tomorrow, always and forever to love you today tomorrow always and forever and by the authority invested in me by the american marriage ministries and the state of montana 
I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. Okay, do you guys have any wishes or advice for the couple? Never go to bed mad. And we've known Robert since he was seven. Absolutely love him to pieces. We call him one of our extras and we wish them so much love and happiness and blessings. And we just love you both so very much. I truly do love my son-in-law and my daughter and I wish them the best and happiness and lots of adventure. Well, congratulations on your big day. Um, I guess it's a communication. Is there, every day won't be easy, and but yet there'll be a lot of good days to go with it. Compromise, be willing to compromise, and patience and love. All right, because at this point in time, you're a team. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would just like to say, congrats guys. It's been a long time, 18 years. I'm glad for you, but. Keep your heads up, and it's like a broken car. You can always fix it, no matter how bad it gets. Uh, my best advice would be, uh, on the days you're angry with each other, don't go telling everybody else, because that doesn't help anything. Remember, it's always fixable. You guys got this, and I wish you the best of luck. Well, I would like to start off with, I'm surprised the lack of animals in the wedding. Uh, definitely expected more. Woodland uh, creatures. If I ever come over to the house and I don't see a bunch of animals, I will be very surprised. You better keep adopting them. Um, uh, but I, I hope you two the best. You two are a pretty good pair, probably the, the best that probably, I've yeah, seen. the best pair. So keep it up and we love you and we can't wait to see you when you're all wrinkled and old as well. Heck yeah, just keep being each other's best friends. I'm keeping it fun. <laughs> um, good luck. Um, pretty simple. Uh, you guys will do well together. I know Robo, you're the first guy I went to and I had trouble with my relationship to talk it out. And uh, you always come to me too in college. So uh, keep it the good work and remember you're not ever going against a problem alone. You always have her by your side and vice versa. Yep, and uh, all I can say, you know, especially like with the, the injury you uh, had a couple of years ago, Miranda, Robert's already been by your side, so Robert, you know, there's not much advice I can give for that. You know, you're already doing it. You're already doing a phenomenal job, so just keep up the great work, button. take care of my sister. Well, you guys covered it pretty well. All I can really say is less cats is more. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Miranda and Robert. You have achieved your perfect 10.9 today. May you always trust each other and always give it your all. Very much congratulations. I'm very happy for both of you and I hope you get to travel a ton. Hold hands and never let go. Okay, hold hands and never let go, yeah? yeah? Never let go. All right, awesome. And the best advice I can give is don't go to bed. Go to bed. All right, don't awesome. Don't go down on your anger. No. All right, anything else? No. There's lots, but you know, <laughs> that's just because we've lived a long time, so we get lots of advice. Okay. So, uh, I've known Robert for a very, very long time. I've been around 20 couple of places. Um, his family uh, with Bob and Mercy and Julia and Colin, um, you know, we've, we've known them for that, that time. We did a lot of travel, we had a lot of great times. Um, I already considered him family. In our sport of rival, a 10.9 represents a perfect center shot. It's the shot that our athletes spend hours training and fine tuning their shot plan to achieve. Here today, in the presence of their family and friends, Miranda and Robert have taken their shot. Leading up to this moment, they have worked hard through the various stages of their shop plan, their relationship. They have trusted their processes, overcoming obstacles, and achieving triumphs together. Through love, they together hold the truth. And with patience, they practice their following. The result, as we see today, on their faces, we feel in their presence, 
as a perfect home plan. Here's to the happy couple. May they continue to follow their shop plan. I had a good speech, but it's pretty hard to follow the father of the bride period. Um, my whole job is to make everybody cry and then laugh. <laughs> and then be calm us all without saying a word. <laughs> I watched Robert learn how to take tasks and create something that he, I know that he never thought he'd be able to do. And I know that both of you guys are going to do this really well in your guys' marriage. I could go on with a bunch of embarrassing stories about either one of them probably, but I know everyone here has a bunch of stories that they'll be sharing throughout the evening. So I'd like to uh, toast the new Mr. and Mrs. Scott. Thank you all. I'm so blessed to have you all here. We're so blessed to have you all here. You all mean so much to us. And you know, have a great rest of the night. We're all going to celebrate together and have a good time. So that's all I got for y'all. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Serious questions. Who made the first move? <laughs> okay, yep. Who is the best chef? You better not raise yours, Mr. Burning Grilled Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Who has the crazier family? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Jackson was the right answer. <laughs> Who's the better shooter? Ooh, interesting. Who's the better driver? <laughs> Perfect. And then, uh, who loves the other the most? Oh, come on, Ralph. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. And that'll wrap it up.